Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment for the next 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pengasus Bay. Hey, it's great to have you here back in the bay. And we're looking in on the subject of today's build, which is the West Edge part of town. Yeah, West Edge. And that's a spot that nestles in nicely between Bent Keel Point down here in the suburbs and our beautiful downtown in Pengasus Bay. And you can see in the West Edge space here, we've got a couple of areas that we really need to focus our attention on. They need to be filled out. And I wanna take a lot of time and energy today doing just that. As you recall, we're kind of in recovery mode from Economy 2.0, but boy, I sure love the progress that we're making. We're gonna do that again today. And then we're also gonna to touch this beach. This beach has been sitting here just waiting anxiously since about episode 18. And now that we've got a surface painter tool, we should be able to come in and make this really beautiful and elegant. And then of course, I've got a couple of tricks up my sleeve for downtown as well. <laughs> we're gonna tackle our education demand as well in the city. So, hey, I just threw a lot at you guys. So with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. So I wanna to start today's episode down here in the West Edge. Now, as you recall, we built out the West Edge way back in episode 18. And one of the things we had said we wanted to do was put in a nice beach down in here. And of course, we didn't have any way to put sand in without mods. But now that we've got that surface painter, we can come back in here and put in some sand. So I wanna tackle that today. But before we jump into that, I wanna tackle this area. And this was where we had our news station. Now, you, you might recall we had a welfare office and a big a radar center and a broadcast tower and all those things. And that was about a half a million dollar a month financial obligation for us. Nah, I decided we just don't have the funds just quite yet to do that. So let's come in here and redevelop that. I took the liberty of clearing out the space and I want to put in some residential because I want to continue kind of this, this build up towards downtown with some, some nice high and medium density residential. So let's get to work on that. I wanna start by taking a two lane road and just kind of coming in right straight off of this existing road here uh, that goes into the marina. And we'll bring that up. Actually, we'll bring that up all the way up to here. Why not? And then I'm gonna follow it in with an alley road. And I wanna come off of this with this alley road, maybe two squares from our, our main road here and then also from our new access road. And I just wanna run that straight out, uh, run this out to about here. I'm also going to bring that straight up this direction here, just so we can kind of create a nice little box pattern in here. Now, my intent is to come in with some uh, row homes down along this corner here, just to kind of you know finish things off, make it look really nice and neat. And I'll do that by taking our European style row home. I'll come up, uh, let's call it four squares here. And then I want to come in with a two lane road behind it. And I want to create a, uh, a nice little zigzag pattern or zipper pattern using our North American style to complement. So we're just gonna come in behind like so. Uh, and then I will go back to my European style row home and just go every other one, one, two, three, four. You kind of get the idea. Oh, and then let's connect this up here so we don't get all of those alerts and warnings. And uh, trim this piece off. And then behind it, I can come in with the North American style. North American style, medium density row home. We'll just run that right straight down like so. Why is that one having an issue? There, all right. So now you can see every other home is gonna be this North American style versus EU style. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna create again, a kind of an interesting looking pattern as we come through here, um, just to break up some of the, the monotony on it and give it a little bit of character. And then I'll continue that down around this corner here, just you know meandering along. Mm, let's just, uh, let's come in here with European, do that, and then North American again, but I'm going to have to trim this road off, so let's just go here. If I bring this out like so, yeah, will that give us what we need? Yeah, and let's just connect that straight down into there, and then we'll come in with some North American style, North American row coming right there, there, there. And you get the idea. And we're creating this nice, neat little neighborhood down in here um, that should give us the opportunity to you know, have some character. And then uh, then let's let's drop a little park in here. Why not? Uh, we've got a nice little corner here. Maybe 
tiny city park? Oh, it's too small. Let's do a uh, small park. Yeah, that fits in there perfectly. Okay, small park in that space. Nice. And then we're gonna need a little parking down here in this corner because yeah, I think we're gonna have some challenges there. So I'm gonna grab a small parking lot right here. Uh, actually, I think I'll come off of th this street here. Drop that in, okay. Yeah, that gets us a good start in this space. Um, we, can, we can finish that off. Now, let's continue our road network up here. And I wanna run right off of this. Bring that out to, let's do about maybe here. And I wanna follow that curve and make my way back up into there. So let's give ourselves an attach point up here. Maybe something like this. And then start this curve. What is this gonna look like? That's not bad. What if we used a continuous curve instead and just kind of wrap that straight up into there? Yeah, I think I like that a little bit better. Yeah, and that gives us a nice little space there. And from here, I'm gonna to want to come in with a, um, just a little two lane road. Let's come out about so far. And I wanna do the same thing coming off in this direction. Uh, I'll drop in a roundabout here, a medium roundabout there, and then a smaller roundabout here. And I think that creates a little bit of interest in here. Now, my intent is to put in a little commercial shopping district right down in here. And then up in here, I wanna put in a little more of a high rise type of, of apartment and then uh, also drop in some medium density homes right along in this space. Let's get to work on this now. So I wanna actually take this road and I wanna create some pedestrian walkability in this space. So I, I wanna take this and bring it all the way out to here. Uh, and then hmm, let's from here come out and just bring this straight up into here if we can. Yeah, that does, that works. Now, from here, what we can do is we can build a nice, tall, North American style, high density housing unit right here. This big four by four right there. Yeah, and that'll be, well, that'll be very tall. And then let's do a European style one, kind of right in next to it here, maybe right off of this main road. Just leave a little bit of a gap there. In fact, do I have one of those little, yeah, one of these little tiny city parks, will that fit there? Oh, it does, yeah. Oh, I like that, separating those two. Very cool. All right, now we'll have good walkability kind of throughout this little back area neighborhood here. And then speaking of walkability, I'm gonna to wanna to do the same thing across the street. Um, I wanted to, in this space, drop in some North, I'm sorry, European style medium density housing. Let's just go three by four and three by four. Do that a couple of times here. And then if I come in behind it, with a, uh, you know, again, a pedestrian road. Just come out straight like this, bring that straight down into here. Yeah, and then I wanna put in some row homes down behind it. So let's continue this road. I'm just gonna bring this up here for now. I don't know how far up here we need to go, but we need to have one, two, three, four, and then there's a gap. Let's just run this right out just to see what this looks like. I want it to be 90 degrees. Did I not know, go 90 degrees there? I don't think I did. That doesn't look like it's 90 degrees. Let's try that again. Yeah, and then we'll just bring this and connect it in right to there. Now, what this will allow us to do is kind of go back in here and repeat our, our EU style slash North American style row home kind of montage that we had done over uh, in the other part of the neighborhood here one two three four and then we'll come back in with the north american coming from the other direction Ooh, in fact i would do it the other way all right so there you go now that's going to start to densify now we can turn our attention on this little shopping district right down in here now we've got to get some parking in here too so let's just take a look will this modest parking lot fit into here Eh, it doesn't. It's it's a little too big. And then a small parking lot could go right along here on Amity Street. Let's do that. Let's put that small parking lot in there. And then I can run this little alleyway kind of behind it again. We'll come back in here with our pedestrian road. I'd really like to keep this pedestrian friendly. So let's run you out here to you click there. And we'll bring you out here to you click there. And then I'll have the ability to bring these roads in. 
And now I can drop in some shops, you know, kind of along this little side here and then also in this space here. In fact, let's do a big, uh, let's see if we can do a kind of a big five by five anchor store in this spot right here. Yeah, like that, that's cool. And then I can come in behind this and drop in a series of like little two by threes. Let's try that. Actually, that two by two is probably fine. Now let's jump down into here and put in some medium density homes in here. Um, I like the um, I like the look of the North American medium density for this block right down along here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do let's do three by four. I'm gonna come with a three by four from the other side too. And then you've got room for a three by four there, but I think I just wanna take a path running right up the middle of that. We'll just come right straight through there so we have access. We can put some trees and and, and so forth there. Uh, and then, hmm, this is a little snug here. I wonder, can I get some little, yes I can, yes I can, little two by two, let's go European style, medium density homes, two by two styles right along here. So we go one, two, just like that. We can finish in our row home configuration that we had going on here with our North American coming off of this side and this side, and then our European coming off of this side and this side. Yeah, all right. That's gonna fill in really nicely. Ooh, I like how tall these towers are getting too. All right, very good. On to the next part. Next, we're gonna be tackling this beachfront area out here in front of the Grand Hotel. Ah, I love that asset, that Grand Hotel. And, and we've got this nice little park that frames it up so nicely. Beautiful, beautiful place to stay. Uh, we built this all the way out back in episode 18 and, and I really wanna make sure that we do something nice here. So let's start by just checking our terrain here. Yeah, okay. And as I get down in here, yeah, you can see it's just a nice, gentle slope down to the beach there. And uh, I want to start by using one of the new assets. It was this hedge park. I just think this hedge park right across the street from our, our Grand Hotel. Let's see, is that centered up? Yeah, it appears to be for the most part. We'll drop that in. And it's just a nice extension of what's going on with this Grand Hotel Plaza. And then you got a little band shell right out here where you can have little concerts by the by the shore. I like that. Uh, and then let's take a little pedestrian road and we're going to come right out of our existing pedestrian roads. Just come right on out to, I don't know, we'll go 64 meters. We'll come out here, go the same length on this side. I think that must be about there. Yeah. And then I can take a continuous curve. Just run this guy right out of here, right up back into there. And hopefully, yeah, the paths do connect. Now, that's eh, a little bit of a funky look over here. Let's see if, I wonder if I can shorten that up. Let's just see. Ooh, you can. All right, and I think it looks a little better now too. Yeah. So we've got this little plaza set up here and um, I think we're gonna need a little parking. Yeah, just into that corner there. So you have parking access for our plaza. And then let's put in some commercial shops. Maybe, uh, again, some, yeah, let's go European style. And how many squares do I have? Two, four, six, so, so seven, seven. Okay, so let's just go, uh, let's do this. Let's go two by four here. Let's see if I can do a North American three by four. And then we'll go two by four in the European style. Whoops, well, I guess it's two by five. Let's not do that. Let's do two by four, just to keep it consistent. Yeah, I think that's gonna look really nice. And then let's do this. Let's come back in and start to define our little spaces, if you will, for textures. The intent is I want to have it kind of stay about two squares away from that um, that walking road there. And that's fine. That's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then we'll come out of here and just run this path straight on out. Ah, I hate to destroy the boulder, though. I mean, that's... Those are valuable commodities here in, in uh, City Skylines too. So I'll come out of this corner here and I'm just gonna snake this path out. Yeah, just kind of go around the little boulder here and make our way down along there. I'm gonna turn on my terrain lines too, just so I have something here. And this park doesn't have a destination in mind anyways. It just kind of just kind of winds out like so. And then let's do the same thing on this end down here.
Uh, as you can imagine, I want to have sand all the way down along in here. And I'm going to come into this first space, though, and I want to put in some manicured grass surface. I think that would look really sharp right along the uh, kind of the edge here. And let's get in nice and close here. Yeah, there, like that. And now you've got a nice finished looking lawn there. And I think that's gonna look sharp. I can drop in some, maybe some palm trees along the way and some, some bush plantings in there. Uh, I think that'll look really sharp. And then I can do, you know, just a variety of different textures through here. I wanna have sand, you know, run all the way down along here. And then of course into the water, I'll use that surface painter and let's do the sand surface. So sit tight. There, now you've got a beach, huh? That's pretty nice, I like that. And now I'll have some fun in this during the detailing time lapse where I'll come in and I'll put some plantings in here. I think I wanna put this in some, some wild plantings and shrubs in there and then maybe put some manicured lawns back up in here and uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, I think that's really starting to take shape. It finally looks like a beach, yay, that's good. Now the next thing I want to tackle is elementary school. Um, elementary school demand. You can see as we you know continue to build up our city here, our elementary education uh, is really back down into the red. Uh, we've got 32,000 eligible students, but only capacity for 24,000. And this school right here, you can see it's maxed out at 1,500. But one of our viewers pointed out that we've got these new urban elementary schools. And I think if I come in here and take that out, take this one out, and then just kind of come in here and, and change things up a little bit. Maybe I'll start with a uh, pedestrian road and just run right off of this intersection here, maybe down to, I don't know, maybe here and just run this straight across. Let's see if I can fit in one of those elementary, those urban elementary schools. Ooh, it doesn't quite fit. Let me just bump that road back. If I put in one of these urban elementary schools, maybe try and center that up Eh, kind of center that up on the park there. In fact, let's drop in a couple of them. One, two, three, boom. And then, oh, for just for a decorative standpoint, let's make this one a little taller, put the extension floors on it. Yeah, there you go. And now it becomes this really big presence in this space. And uh, our elementary school capacity, we look at this one's ramping up already. A eh, couple of students coming in. Now we're just getting started there. But let's check out our capacity here in the city we jumped up to 27.5. So that's gonna help us out. We can make this uh, same sort of an idea. Now we can do the same sort of a technique in other parts of the city. In fact, let's jump back over here to where we were in the last episode in Alto Ridge and do the same thing here. Let's go. And that's a really cool looking piece right on that, that tram plaza there. Ooh, I like the way that that turned out. So uh, you'll start to see our education fill in a little bit better now. Not quite where we want to be, but we're getting close. We're getting close. Now, the next thing I want to do is jump down into downtown here. And there's a little block that's right down in the space here that's got some low density, resi uh, low density office buildings down through here. I think I want to add some density and some pops of height in this space as well. So let's start by dezoning this. We're just going to come in here and clear that out. And then I want to come in with, uh, again, like some pops of height. You can see this tall tower in behind it. I'd like to put in a big European style condo tower right in this corner here. So let's do that. Uh, European high density housing right in this corner here. One, two, three, four, five by five. Boom. Yeah, that'll be a really nice piece there. And then let's come in with an office tower. Let's go with a uh, high density office tower, maybe tucked in behind it. So we're gonna increase our office density in here. We're just gonna increase our density in general. Uh, maybe I'll take that one. Let's, let's give this a, an apron, a full square apron all the way around. So let's do maybe three by four. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll come in with a, uh, you know, European, let's go North American style, high density business right behind it. Yeah, I like that. And then we can come in with some medium density homes uh, maybe let's go European style, medium density. And I'm going to go three by, Ooh, maybe, uh, maybe I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to stay off of that apron of one by one apron there. Uh, in fact, let's put a path in there just so we don't accidentally start zoning in there. 
Yeah, like that. And then we'll do the same thing coming in this direction here. Now that leaves me a bunch of these smaller three deep tiles in here. And I can come in with my EU medium density homes in there. Yeah, maybe we'll just do a series of those. And four. Yeah. And so what that'll do is it'll continue to add some height in this space where we didn't have it before and make it look a little bit more representative of downtown. And you're, you're seeing as we're you know coming in here and tucking in a, a tall building here and there. In fact, we had ripped out a parking garage here and brought in some height in there as well. So you can see downtown is starting to get a little bit more dense. And I think that's I think that's fully appropriate. All right. So the next piece we're going to want to do. Wow. What's with the death wave already? These people just moved in. <laughs> There's something bad in the water, apparently. All right. The next piece I want to tackle is this piece right down in here. So the first thing I'm going to need to do in this space is I'm going to have to do a lot of demolition work. I want to take out these elementary schools. Yeah, don't worry, we'll replace them. And all this road structure in here and even this tram track that runs kind of up and alongside here, uh, alongside Evergreen Street. So sit tight. I'm going to do some demo work. Okay, so now we've got the space all cleared out. Let's come in here and do just a little bit of modest terraforming here. And now with all of that terraformed off, we can reestablish our tram access. Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna come in and grab a large road, a six lane divided road. And uh, let's uh, turn off this. And I just wanna kinda keep it aligned up with the, the existing road here and just drive this straight up into that roundabout. Yeah, like that. I want to continue that pattern all the way across this bridge here, maybe over to this spot right about here. Yeah. And then uh, let's make sure that this is a very large roundabout. Okay, that's better. And then uh, we have the ability to come in with a tram road. So let's go over to tram. Well, I think it looks good, uh, you know, from, a, from an angle standpoint, an approach standpoint. And now we just need to upgrade our our six lane divided road into a tram road. There, and now we've got tram access that comes across this evergreen street, across the freeway, and then splits off and heads down in this little tram channel down here into the Arabica Basin. Okay, cool. Now we can focus on building out our, you know, kind of our residential area in here. And again, I think this is a, this is a great space for some, some low rent housing in here. Uh, and now we can get to the work of putting in some elementary schools. Now. If you recall, in one of our previous episodes, we had gone through and removed a lot of services. Uh, and one spot that we had that was a, a little vacant hole was over here. I thought one of these urban high schools fits in perfectly down over here. And I can even upgrade that as well, just to put some high school or elementary school coverage in this space down over here. And uh, let's come down here now and build out some elementary schools in this space. So I wanna come off of this grid here, turn this off. And then over here, I want to come out from the center of this and run out also in this direction. And we can cut this piece off. We'll leave this piece for now. Uh, and then we'll let that, just kind of let that sit like this. And let's check out our terrain here. I just want to make sure that I've leveled something off here as we get a little closer to the freeway. Maybe from this little intersection right here where these all come together. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, and then let's take some of those larger elementary schools, uh, urban elementary schools. Let's put one. Hmm. Actually, you know what we could do? We could do one like this and then have another one coming in from the other side. So let's see. What does that look like? If I turn this around, how deep does that need to be? Okay, so the road's got to come down from about here somewhere. Ooh, it just fits. Look at that. Oh, they fit side by side, back to back. That's pretty cool. All right, let's uh, upgrade both of these so that they have the expanded student capacity. Yeah. Okay. And then if I needed to, I could always put another one in, but I don't, I don't think I'll need to right now. Let's just run this road back across. Hmm, no. Let's come down to here. And then we'll run back into here. There we go. Yeah, I wonder if one of those would fit. It would. 
I bet that would look kind of cool. Let's just do it. Why not? Yeah, now we've got this kind of funky three-winged shaped uh, elementary school here, and we can kind of put some decoratives in there. I like it. I like it. Now let's build out a little commercial zone down in this space right here. All right, so I'm going to come down in here with um, like a little alleyway. We'll just run that right down along here. And then I want to run kind of out down along this road here, maybe to about like so. I want to bend this in just using a simple curve. There we go. Connected those in. Okay. And uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can bring a simple alley road kind of straight down into here. Keeping the grids turned off. That's fine. And then do the same thing coming out over here. Mm, no. I actually want to bring that in from here into that nook, maybe into that nook. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, then that allows us to dot in a bunch of little small shops in there. Let's do that. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our little shopping district that can form in there, and uh, I can even put some across the street. So let's do a bigger piece right in this corner here. Maybe a big North American 5x5. Five five, and then a European 4x4 four four, and another North American. There you go. Probably should drop a little parking lot right in here. Modest? Yes, a modest parking lot. That should work. And then I could probably put in... I wonder if I can fit like a medium size in here. I can, look at that. Let's flank up those that school with some parking then. That's a good idea. We've got no parking in this area. Okay, cool. And now we should bring in some of our, uh, maybe this will be a park area here. Uh, let's bring in some low income housing in here. So let's go to low rent housing. Let's put a big low rent tower right here. See if I can do like a six by six. Does that work? Oh yes. And then, We'll come down in here and, and just put in some smaller one, smaller, maybe a five by five. And then in here, I think I just want to take North American medium density and just kind of fill in the rest of it. So that should fill in nicely with some additional uh, residential in there. All right, this feels like a really good opportunity for us to jump in and do a beautification time lapse. We've got a lot of work to do because we touched a lot of areas in this uh, in this part of town. You know, we focused our energies really primarily on the west edge. We built out this new little residential space down in here, and that's starting to fill in nicely. Look at all the taxi cabs coming in, people taxiing in from out of town. That must be a new mechanic. <laughs> and then, of course, we touched up this little low rent uh, neighborhood over here, right by our tram depot and our post office. Uh, and then we built in our beach. We started uh, that process here, our beach along the west edge. And then, of course, we dropped in some, you know, additional, you know, densification, urban densification down here in the downtown area, right off of Harpoon Point. So things are starting to shape up, and I've got a lot of work to do to to make it look a little bit more uh, in keeping with Pen Pengasus Bay. So why don't you guys just sit back, relax, enjoy the time lapse, and let's reconnect afterwards and recap our sculpture.
<laughs> All right, welcome back. And I give you the new and improved West Edge. Yeah, this is now starting to feel like the shoulder area to downtown that it was always intended to be. Lots more densification in this space and a ton more residential. There was a lot that we did in this episode. There's a ton to unpack, so let's just jump right on in. We started down in this little notch down here, as you recall. This was our broadcast facility where we used to have our news station, and I converted this into residential. I just love how elegantly this framed up into this corner here with these beautiful little row homes here. A combination, if you will, even odd, of European style and North American style. And it gives this almost a townhouse look and feel about it here as you, as you take a look out across the, across the busy road into the bay. And you can see each of these two units that sit side by side almost feel like they're, they're joined. And this is one big household here. Uh, put some birch trees in between each unit just to create a uniform look and consistency across the front of those. And then I dropped in these condo towers in behind it. Can you imagine living in one of these beautiful condo towers overlooking the bay? Pretty spectacular view, don't you think? And you've got the little marina right out in front of you too. In case you have a boat, like a small pleasure craft in this marina, you can just walk right straight across our busy street here and into your marina. Nice. Love it. All right, jumping across now to this next section. This is where we had our three elementary schools, kind of the old style elementary schools, and we upgraded those into our new urban style elementary schools. Again, much bigger, much, uh, much larger capacity and a smaller footprint to boot. And I like the way that that worked out. We relocated our trams depot into this corner down here. We kept our post office right where it was. So you got this busy kind of mayhem, if you will, along this arterial road and the freeway here. And then we dropped in this low income housing behind it. So we've got some additional densification in here. We still have a bit of a homeless problem here in the city. We're still trying to work through that. And I'm, I'm hoping that additional low income properties throughout the city will help with that. Now into this little corner, I ducked in some European style medium density homes in here. And then some North American little row homes really tucked in along this freeway here. Again, this would be uh, the impression of some some really low income you know homes that are sitting along that freeway, uh, maybe a value property sitting down in here. Now, lest I forget, I added another tram depot and crematorium while we were off camera. I had to do that because our tram network was completely taxed. We were out of vehicles with our two tram depots that we already had installed. So I dropped that one into this corner here. I'll probably come along here and tidy this up, finish this off, but at least now our network is fully stocked with trains. And then we've got this little commercial district that wraps this corner right down in here. It's actually a really nice, warm and inviting approach into this uh, neighborhood um, you know, with the palm trees and the wild plantings and so forth. So I do like the way that this worked into this corner really nicely. Now, speaking of elementary schools, we jump down over here into the West Edge proper and you've got these three elementary schools. Remember, we just had one big elementary school in here. Now we've got three. And that is a, a lovely, but actually, uh, you know, facade, if you will, coming across this marina and into the West Edge here. I think it fits in architecturally pretty well with this area. You've got access to the parking lot and all the playgrounds and, and skate park that's, that are behind it. I extended those surfaces a little bit here and dropped in some trees and bushes along the side here and here. You can't really see it there. It's a little dark back in there, but uh, take my word for it. We, uh, we beautified the area. And then, of course, we added some palms down in front of it, some flower plantings, and then this kind of this little curved entrance piece, if you will, down here on the, on the intersection corner. Now, let's jump into downtown real quick because I had a block in downtown that we... Uh, that we tackled as well. And it was this block down here along the pedestrian uh, the pedestrian mall. You can see our pedestrian mall gets a pretty good workout here. Lots of people making their way up and down. And I added in this, right down in this space here, this European style medium density housing and this big European style condo tower in here with an office building right tucked in behind it. Now, again, this would be a spectacular place to, to have a, a condo overlooking our marina here at Harpoon Point, watching the ships come and go with great vistas of the whole bay, looking off to the east, across the fountain, and then off to the west, out to Ocean's Gate. Love it. And then let's not forget about our top five design element. Yeah, it's our West Edge Beach. I love the way this turned out. Now, as you recall, the Grand Hotel was our top five design element back in episode 18. And we finally get a chance to finish that off now that we've got our surface painter that allows us to put in sand into the water. And I just really love the way this turned out. We started off with this little, this little park in the front here with a band shell. Maybe we'll have some performances. And I've got the light rail stop right outside of it um, so you, people can come and go pretty easily. Got some shopping over here on the right side. And then I framed it up with these manicured lawns that are kind of right out in front of it here. And I didn't want to put a bunch of trees in here because I didn't want to obstruct the sight line coming out of the Grand Hotel off here in the background. 
And then I continued those manicured lawns over here. So maybe this is a picnic lawn over here, something along that line. Great for all of these commercial shops. Maybe grab some food and bring that over here and have a nice little picnic. Added a little bit of a wild palm garden down here in this area. And then I took our sand and I ran that right down into the, into the uh, water here so that it kind of blends seamlessly with what's going on here in the ocean. And then I even worked in this little walking path, a raised walking path that makes its way down along the shore and on into downtown because I wanted to put railings in there to keep people from, I don't know, tumbling into the water and <laughs> keep them safe and dry. And as you can see, it's getting a good workout. Lots of people making their way now from downtown into the West Edge. And then there was one little element down in here too where I, I just kept the sand away from it, preserved our rocks because we got to do that. Those are an endangered species here in Pangasas Bay. And then I just framed it up with some additional flowers and plantings. So there you go. There's our, our West Edge Beach top five design element. All right. Well, that's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed watching this one as much as I enjoyed making it. This one, this one was a lot of fun to come back in here and refill some of these areas that had been abandoned through our Economy 2.0 patch. And uh, you're going to want to sit tight and, and not miss our cinematics today. That should be really spectacular. Now, if you saw something that you guys liked today, be sure to leave us a comment below. The engagement really helps with the algorithm to distribute our content to a much wider audience. Really appreciate the help. And if you're looking to throw some additional support at the channel, we now have membership options here on YouTube, as well as our Patreon page. Also, while you're at it, be sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the happenings here in Pangasus Bay and our Grand Vanillica series as well. Okay, well with that, I'm going to bid you guys a fond farewell, and until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>